Hello from Slidenred and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? This is the last bit about the string class methods. So I know you guys are probably wondering when the hell is this gonna stop. Well, it stops over here. So I'm gonna talk about some more methods which are the most important ones. Starting with something called index of. If I say s dot index of, if I say h over here, this is gonna give me the position of h inside our string s now you guys are probably wondering what happens when there is more than one edge it will only return the first edge so you can this gives you an uh, index for example in our case if you see h is at zero so this is gonna give you an integer which i'm gonna store in int position all right so i'm gonna print this position by saying system dot out dot print ln position if i just run this by saying control s shift f6 as you guys can see it says zero you can also pass something like uh, o as you guys can see there are many o's over here there is one there is two right so if i say s dot index of o this is gonna give me the first o which is at the fourth position that is zero one two three and four right this is the fourth position so that is perfectly working but you can also put a string inside over here by for example you can put the entire hello over here and check where hello is now if you guys notice hello is actually at the zeroth position right it gives you the starting uh, letter position when you put an entire string so if you say from over here by saying s dot index of from this is gonna give you somewhere like five or six let's say zero one two three four five and that's yep six the f is six right so that's what it gives us for the position now let me actually show you what we can do now let's say we wanted position o over here and it gave me four but i want the position for this O, not the first O. So what I can actually do is I can skip these many characters and then I can start counting from here. All right. For that, what I do is I tell the number of characters to skip. For example, in this case, I'm going to say skip, say six characters by passing this parameter six over here. So now if you see, this is going to give me eight. Eight is the position of this O from the start of the string. But by saying this six, what we are telling is do not count O if they appear in the first six places only after that count O if it appears and that is what this six actually tells us all right the same way you can have uh, last index of by saying s dot last index of let's say e now this is going to start counting things from here remember things will be 0 1 2 the count will be the same it's going to start from 0 and it's going to go up to 29 but this e is at probably 27th position and that is what this last index of will give us so let me go ahead and run this as you guys can see 26th position that's where this e is now the same way like the first index you can also skip this e and suppose you want this e over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip all these characters by putting 20 over here i'm going to skip 20 characters from the last and start counting e if it comes over here so now this is going to give me one that's where your e is right this is zero this is one and we start counting from here and this is the e that we get and this is what your last index of function does i can also replace stuff by saying s dot replace i can uh, take my old character and say for example i want to replace all the e with i this is gonna give me a new string because you remember remember one thing your string class cannot be modified so i'm gonna say string s2 and this s2 is gonna be printed over here so wherever there is e inside your string that's gonna be i in our case right so that's what your replace function does and then we have this function called split which gives us a string array now if i say split let's say i want i have this entire string s i want to split this into words now if you guys remember this space is what separates every word right so we are going to simply put the space over here so every time your this uh, function split sees a space what it's going to do it's going to take this string give it back then take the space take this word give it back then consider neglect the space take the word give it back neglect the space and so on so this is going to give you a string array by saying string x equals to this remember if you don't if you have i haven't talked about arrays so far in my list so stay tuned when i talk about arrays you'll understand this in detail for now i'll say for put a for loop over here by saying for int i is zero i less than x dot length i plus plus i could have used used a for each loop too but i'm not doing that system dot out dot print ln x of i now just like i told you it's gonna see start from here it's gonna see the first space since you have passed space as a parameter over here it's going to take the first space, split this entire word, 
put it inside one position inside the array then take the next word neglect the space take the next word and neglect the space and so on but what happens if you put a comma over here well it won't split because there is no comma anywhere inside your string so now let's actually try something by putting commas so that you guys can understand what happens better so in this case if you guys notice there are two commas and that's how we are going to get three strings right there's going to be first hello then there's going to be from and then it's going to be views and slide notes so this comma is used as the basis for separating words inside our original string just like space was used in the last case this is what the split function does now there's another way of doing this using the java.util.string tokenizer class but i'm not going to talk about it now when we talk about utilities in java at that time i'll discuss that class in detail and last but not the least you have your substring function you can say sing s.substring let's say you start from position 5 this is going to give you a string which it starts somewhere over here which is your fifth position to the end right so i'm going to store that inside the string s2 remember everything gives you a new string in this case i'm going to say system so as you guys can see it says 0 1 2 3 4 and from the fifth position it has started that is from here till the end and that is what your five indicates start from that point including that point right it's included take a look so here you can also specify an end by saying say 10 in that case you get only this from over here right in that case your this character which is say this is uh let me let me count i'm bad at maths zero one two three four they started from five then there was six seven eight nine ten now the tenth position was not included right so the last position that is your number ten will be excluded in the output over here you'll get only this much you can vary this at different values and see what comes out you can again play with this so I hope you guys understood something out of this vid. We are done with all the string methods, at least the basic ones. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.